Since the 1990s, the concept of humanoid robots has been the stuff of science fiction. And people till date cannot believe that there could ever be another human-like species which can walk, talk and perform tasks just like a normal human being. But are these humanoid robots for real? Will these robots be a danger to humans? What are these robots? Should this be a caution to humanity? Keep watching the video to know more. From Steven Spielberg's AI to iRobot, humanoid robots have always been the stuff in science fiction and something that people never believe to be real. For centuries, the futurists have predicted the dawn of a new species, a robot. These mechanical robots would not only be able to do mechanical marvels like walk and talk, but they would also be able to handle each and dearie task of humans, which we were being too lazy to do. From tasks like simple chores, bringing vegetables from the market, to even mining, robots are said to be the future of manual labor. Even though robots are now commonly used in industries and big companies worldwide, the use of robots instead of humans still blows the mind of people. But even though the tiny human brain might not seem to be taking this fact in it, we have to understand that the future is here. With that being said, let's talk about what you came here for. Number 1. Every time you talk to a customer service agent, it is assumed that a normal person would be talking to you. But what if your assumptions were wrong and you could be talking to a speaking robot? That's exactly what Nadine is. It's the most human-like humanoid robot in the world. With a human-like body and lifelike features, Nadine is the closest to what a robot could be to a human. She is designed to even recognize you from your previous visit, shake hands, make conversation, keep an eye contact and also make you believe that you are talking to a real human. It has depth cameras, a microphone and a webcam to gather visuals and audio inputs. It can also make conversations in six different languages. Developed in Japan by the Kokoro Japan, with the software developed at the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, she is currently employed as a customer service agent at AIA Singapore Insurance Company. Yes, employed. Number 2. While people are still not able to read emotions of people, Pepe can read them. The robot is designed to recognize human faces and detect different types of human emotions, which enables it to make interactions with humans through artificially intelligent conversations, gestures and its touchscreen. It is a robot that is built with the thought of human-robot interaction and to evolve social bonds between the two beings. That is, if robots could be called beings. Manufactured by SoftBank Robotics, this semi-humanoid robot is developed in such a way that it can understand more than 15 languages, recognize which language the person is speaking and also make intelligent interactions with the person being talked to. Unlike other robots which are industry specific and cannot be bought outside the country, Pepper can be bought by a normal human. That too, online. More than 3000 companies have adopted their own Pepper to welcome and guide their visitors. Robots like Peppers are a sweet spot to impress visitors and investors. It has already made an impressive appearance in the open days of the School of Science, where it has been the spotlight of attraction in the computer science department. It was reported that the visitors were very impressed by the interactive capabilities of the robot mingled with light humor. The robot has already made its career by helping the undergraduate students in their final year project. Number 3. Ever thought of a news anchor being a robot? Have the thought of getting the latest updates about the world from a robotic news anchor? Well, to your surprise, this has actually become true. Erika, a human-like robot created by Hiroshi Ishiguro from the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, is one of the most intelligent humanoid robots developed in Japan once again. It is developed in such a way that she can easily interact with human beings and make changes to her facial expressions according to the conversation being made. Even though she cannot walk, the robot can possibly make human-like conversations because of the 15 inbuilt infrared sensors in her eyes that can track any movement whatsoever. She also has inbuilt face recognition technology and speech generating algorithms built in to track different faces in a room and also allow her to make various facial expressions accordingly. Currently, Erica has been working as a news anchor. Imagine watching early morning news and the presenter is a robot with special emphasis being given on her verbal capabilities while being developed. It seems Japan has done a great job. However, moving on to number 4. Digit, a human-like robot designed and engineered to perform manual labor like picking up boxes from the shelves and chores like shifting the boxes, picking them up, loading them into a truck, etc. Made and developed by Agility from the Oregon State University, the robot is very slightly human-shaped, even though it has two arms, two legs, and can walk around. 
It is headless, has no hands, but it has the strength to carry heavy load and has knees that can bend back. Unlike humans, it has a great strength and durability which allows it to carry out tasks autonomously without any hindrance. This bipedal robot that has been going by the name of Digit, there have been reports from the Agility team that they have added an upper torso, arms, sensors, and additional computing power to their successful Cassie robot design, which will now be the Digit robot. The robot has gotten quite famous, so much so that it can now be bought online for an obviously sky-high price. So if you are looking to buy a robot that can accompany you in your day-to-day -day tasks, Digit can be your go-to. Number 5. Junko Chihira A humanoid robot working in a shopping center on Tokyo's waterfront who has been answering all of the local tourists' questions for a while now. Developed by Toshiba, using the technology created by Hiroshi Ishiguro, who also created Eroka, which we talked about earlier, she has incredible skills and a wide range of facial expressions, which helps her in greeting the tourists in English, Japanese, Chinese, and many other languages thus making the communication easier and make the tourists feel like home. The local tour guide is embedded with speech synthesis technology, machine learning and natural language processing, which enable her to comprehend, process the information and make accurate answers to the tourist questions. She and four other androids cost around 10 million yen, about $93,000 to produce, but only Junko Chihira is currently out in public, while the others remain with their maker. It is also programmed to make sign languages, thus helping the hearing-impaired tourists. Junko Chihira was developed specifically for the tourism and travel industry, and it seems like she is doing a great job. And lastly, number 6. One of the largest robotics companies in Russia and Eastern Europe have now started selling their humanoid robots, which are being called the Android Robo C. They have a physical appearance resembling any person they wish to. These robots have anthropomorphic machines that are capable of mimicking human expressions, which include moving the eyes, eyebrows, lips, etc. And it can also support conversations, all thanks to technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning. It has been reported that the RoboC is capable of reproducing more than 600 variants of human microfacial expressions. Thus, they can be used both for commercial as well as personal use. It has been estimated that these robots have the capability of replacing employees in banks, hotels, malls, and various other companies. Since the robot is also capable of answering the questions of guests and visitors, it can also be employed in shopping malls and museums, whereas if one uses it for personal purposes, they can be used for managing smart homes. Well, that was the last one for today. Do you think robots can take over jobs from humans? Can robots be the reason behind future human unemployment? Can robots be another reason for the Great Depression? Stay tuned to our channel to get all your questions answered. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching the video, then make sure to hit the like button and make sure to comment below. Your comments are valuable and it helps us in staying motivated. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss another update on such amazing technological innovations. With that being said, let's meet on another video. Until then, see ya!